through black men getting beat, through Jim Crow, through we everybody's getting hung and KKK and all that. We were still together eighty percent. All I of a sudden, we were the freest. Now we can't be together because oh, because of traumas together. And I think that's the issue we starting to have in this community mm-hmm. that. We both got our issues that we got to work on. So if us as a black man, we try to talk to a woman, they be like, "But you don't do this and you don't do that." That don't. That still don't negate the fact that you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't need no nice guys out here. At because all. when you say something, you just got to stand on it. I've been challenged by some of the strongest black women, independent and all, mm-hmm. and they can challenge me all you want. But if it's the truth, the truth hurts for a reason. Yeah, yeah. And that's because you're trying to make it easy with the lie. I'm not doing that. It, it amazes me that this was a, she was talking about this 30 years ago. <laughs> and it seems like today we're having the same problem. Like you challenge a woman on her thinking, it's like you instantly get attacked by black women. Let's go. What's up, FMF game? We back again. Back. Look, we put a challenge out there for y'all. Over what was it, 105 subscribers? Yep. And we we said how many um views? 100 views? Man, I was looking at. Keep on talking. Yeah. Now I pull it up now. I think, I think we said like over 105 yeah. subscribers. Yeah. And 30 likes. 30 That's what likes. it was. So we, it was 30 likes. How many views did you say? We didn't say nothing about views though. Yeah, no, we didn't say nothing about views. views. We just said 30 likes. Right. Right. Y'all, uh, we asked y'all delivered. So we back at it with part two, uh, with Sister Ali. Yeah. We're gonna pick up where we uh, left off at last time. Thanks. So let's go ahead and roll it. We're gonna get right to it. Yeah. Oh, we have, uh, I, I kind of number them, I think, as one, two, and three, and I would call them lower class, uh, middle level, and so-called upper class, you know, and uh, we certainly have to acknowledge that we have those levels in our society. We see them every day. That is not a put down to recognize that we have a lower class woman who perhaps lives on the street, who is an alcoholic, a bum you know, who is outdoors, who is a uh, uh, subject to abject poverty as a lack of, uh, because of a lack of education and proper training and personal hygiene and other kinds of information, uh, she exists and we need to reach her and try to raise her up differently because many of these women have children and we have to be responsible for them. Uh, we have uh, the mid- mid-class women who are the number twos and uh, they're kind of average. They try to do better uh, than the lower level and then, of course, we have the number three class, which is uh, the so-called successful, you know, black woman who is uh, tripping about the fact that she generally has a big job and a credit card or something, you know. Uh, we, don't you we want do to a see lot black of, women accomplish something? Yes, I absolutely do. But if we can't accomplish saving our race, then we have not made an accomplishment. We are looking at our man uh, become endangered. He's already endangered. Over 60% of us are single, widowed, separated, or divorced as of last year. And so we're not together. And uh, there is one monolith in the black community, Raven. If we don't reproduce children. Ooh. Already there. No, so, man. you you said it, you already said it once. Yeah, you said um, you said it was what fifty percent there, sixty percent. It was sixty percent there. Those numbers are probably higher now. Seventy, you know? eighty right now. Yeah, it's it's yeah. high right now. What, what year was this? Ninety one. Yeah, Ninety one. Yeah, Thirty years later. <laughs> Thirty years later, it has rose <laughs> yeah. to a whole. It, it's been rising. It's been rising. Um, uh, what y'all didn't catch at the beginning? Um, you go back to the um, second part. She was talking about the three different kinds of women. Mm-hmm. And she's right about those. It, just like it's this, uh, probably three types of men. Um, the one that stuck out was when she said the so-called successful. The so-called successful. Um, most women deem that they feel like they're successful once they they get an education, once they have a certain credit card, once they have a certain house, apartment, something like that. That will make you successful. Mm. I don't think that's 100 successful. You're successful in becoming a um, an independent person. That's mm-hmm. it. you're doing wonderful. But as far as successful as <clears throat> all around. No, no, because the last thing that you're missing is what my guy says all the time, you can't have community, communication. communication. So you can't communicate, you can't communicate with your family, you have to have a family. family. Mm, when, when, when a wife has, when a, when a wife, yeah, a woman has a, is a wife 
and has a husband and kids, that's when she's fully successful. That's in my eyes. Hmm. Fully, fully successful. But what if the woman don't want to be a wife? Woman don't want to be a wife? What, what, she, don't, what if she don't want that? Like, she only focused on career. She only focused on career? We mean, um, well, let me break down too. Is it just a sex relationship? She gonna have kids? That, it's an option. <laughs> no, no, it's not an option. And that's why communities <laughs> like that now. You, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be having no kids I'm, unless you're a wife. I mean, some women can't have kids. So let's, yeah, let's we, be that. we gotta we, we gotta focus yeah. on the majority. Yeah. So this is the majority of women can have kids, and I, they're put on earth to carry kids. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's exactly how I feel. I don't think that that's why the community is like this. <laughs> yeah, that's why the community is like this because people want to have kids and and not be um, a wife and be with a man, thinking that you could do everything on your own. That's horrible. That's not yeah. successful. I mean, she's saying the same thing that men in the YouTube space are saying, but you know. What you mean? Which part? You know, the man in the, the what, what we call it, the manosphere. manosphere. Yeah. She's saying the same thing we're saying, but this and this was 30 years ago. So for some reason, we some bitch ass niggas for, you know, saying the same as shit. What, what it is? Oh, shit. It's the, it feels like Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the boss mentality. It's the, the independence. Like, okay, cool, be independent to get yourself straight, to get yourself together. Mm -hmm. But... When you talking about all roundedness, like you were speaking, mm -hmm. you saying successful is you know not just one area of success. You talking about community, family, all of these mm -hmm. things yeah. put it together. Yeah. That is not an independent thing. That's interdependency, and that's what the women are really missing because they're harboring on this independence. They're selling them this independence, and it's like yo, like. We need y'all. We supposed to be together. We mm -hmm. supposed to be building with one another. Are you still here? You ain't subscribed yet? Hit that button, my man. Hit that button and subscribe. Like, it's cool that you're doing you, not taking away from you. Do you, boo-boo. <laughs> but we need to be able to build with each other instead of being in competition. And then once you get the so-called successful, and you at this level, I need a guy to meet me at this level. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, most of the guys at this level ain't paying attention to you, yeah. you know, because they didn't already dealt with the bullshit that came with it. Exactly. So you still got some more work to do. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be able to be cooperative. You know, that's that's what most of them mm, yes. want is cooperation. It's cooperation. So, call it what you want, control, or whatever. But, uh -huh. all right, the Apostle Paul, let's go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sitting here processing everything and, and just thinking about it, because I, I do agree with that. But in my head, the same thing kind of like apply to the guy too. When in regards to like, she said like procreation. So I guess what I what I'm trying to process through, and I just want to hear more is like, uh, how do you go about that? Because now in our time now, and we kind of talked about it, we don't talk about. Uh, Marriage and stuff anymore, even from even from the guy section. You well, know what I'm saying? Raised to be wise, you said it, man. No, but well, I'm, no, no. But so, do you think that's why guys don't want to get married now? No, I think it, it, um, part of it, yeah, because mm -hmm. um, you can get some people give the argument to say that women are not raised to be wives. Then the and the women would be like, maybe guys are not married to be um, raised up to be husbands. Mm -hmm. I think that's BS. Mm -hmm. um, the soul, which is not 100, percent because. Trey already pointed that out to you, is of course, it's not all about a man being provider, being a husband. Right. But that's the, I think it's still a primary. It's like the, mm -hmm. one of the number one things. Mm -hmm. So we're brought up to always be nice to women, always hit the flowers, do this, make sure you have a job, make sure you be able to do all this. That's the primary roles of, of being a husband. It's not mm -hmm. everything, but that's like the, you know, the primary ones. Mm -hmm. The women are told to say to do the same exact thing, but we, that's not what we want. They're not raised to be. You should be. You should be finding a man for this. You should be other than dick and, and money and shit. You're not raised to see him as a a, 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 a future provider. Mm -hmm. How he cares about people. How stuff. Then you should cook for them. You should do this. You should, they're not taught that. Mm -hmm. So it is. It is mostly on that. I, I really, really, really believe the problem. The main problem is that most women are not being um, raised to be wives. It's not their fault. 
I don't think it's, I'm not saying this to say that you're to blame and you're totally wrong, mm -hmm. but you can't, like, we can't be mad at you for something you weren't taught. Mm -hmm. You didn't teach yourself as a kid, mm -hmm. you need your parents to. So you could give an argument that most of our parents, or well, they failed most of, all, all of us, man. <laughs> we spoke on it on debut, baby moves, right. man. Mm -hmm. So let's continue to see what she's yeah, 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 yeah. Then our nation, our race is going to die out here. And so we sometimes tend to look at black men and say, yeah, they're in this bad condition. And we act like they're going to die out and we're going to live on. But that's not the way it's going to go. Uh, if the black man dies, all of us are going to die because he actually is the backbone of our nation. Uh, we can't produce a baby by ourselves. And going into other nationalities still just erases, you know, our, our nation. And I'm trying to get us uh, not to do that. Uh, you have pr mm. Do y'all agree? Oh yeah, hundred percent. That was that's a lie. That's a no, she said but it's a lie you hear that all um, women are the uh, backbone of you know you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> so what role do you think the women play then? They play an awesome role. And I don't, exactly. It, 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 that came off horrible. Like yo, yeah, I'm like, hold on a second. Like, uh, <laughs> just reverse it. Get, for some people they probably get in their feelings, get out your feelings and back up to what I say. It's just say you're not that doesn't mean that you're not anything. Uh -huh. I love women. I, I love my black I love it all. I love y'all everything. But a certain thing that y'all have, have different roles than us, and you being a backbone is not your role. You, you know, you're not the backbone. This, this is not you're your role. Not the backbone, but a fundamental support, you are. supporting role. You need uh, it. To you need it. Men. Um, and we we talked about that too. We talked about it on. I'm, I forgot what episode. We've done, done a couple episodes, but mm. oh, toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Paul said it. Yeah. Paul said it. When we get that that type support. of energy from a woman. Mm -hmm. It makes us want to go through a brick wall. We turn mm -hmm. to Superman. But, yeah, yeah. You know, they they blocking out the sun, and we can't we can't get our can't get our energy back. But I think that, uh, that's what I mean. support. What's the main thing that you need for your body to be supported? Your back. It's your fine. back is everything. Mm -hmm. If that's the support, that's the back. That's the backbone. True, true, true. That's an argument, but. That's a good argument, but I'm gonna say still the backbone. Maybe I need some more. Um, Our backbone, but not the backbone. Yeah, so society. like, like we we threw out the analogy. Okay. Like, okay. how do we okay. how do we figure out the analogy okay. now? You know what I'm saying? Say it again, Keith. What do you say? Not, our backbone, yeah, but not the backbone of society. Mm. Of, of, um, of our oh, community. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That makes yeah, you sense. can be a backbone. You can <laughs> not the ultimate backbone. It's <laughs> <laughs> right here. This is the structure. <laughs> yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, oh. okay. All right, all right. Let's go problems with interracial marriages. Yeah, I'm, I'm not for that. Well, because of uh, the fact that I think that God made a male and female of every nationality so that they could mate and reproduce. And I think in our particular case, uh, a lot of us uh, try to run to what I call a, a race denial by trying to marry into other nationalities to try to get away from our own heritage. Uh, many black women do that, and certainly many black men do that, so I'm trying to get them to get back together and stop trying to marry and go into other races and infiltrate them with some of the nonsense that we bring as a result of our uh, sad slavery history. What if uh, okay. Ooh, uh, it was, we a disclaimer. Get we go get this. Uh, <laughs> disclaimer for any type of endorsements, anybody that works with it in the future, <laughs> this is just on. <laughs> this is just you know. We love we all, all races. Oh, we all oh, will be big brilliant. one day. So I'm just letting you know. Anybody see us in the future? Cancel culture. I don't I'll care about you. none of that anyway. Yeah. Huh. No, go ahead. So um, on that, I have nothing against interracial couples, but I do believe, as far as us being able to come together, we do need more marriages in our community, in the black community. So, I would agree. Yeah. I feel the same way. I, I feel the same way. I would like, definitely agree. Everybody got the option to, you know, be who outside. you want to be but with. But why are you going outside? But with, for me, I could not I could never imagine myself marrying anybody other than gonna, a black woman. They're not going to really be able to understand and that's my point. all of what you go through. Maybe. They're not going to be able to support you fully. You know, to the fullest extent, they might be able to support you, you know, to what you're satisfied at, but they're never going to truly be able to understand, like, yo, like, mm -hmm. I just got harassed by a cop for no reason. Right. Like, you must have did something. What did you do? No, mother, I didn't do nothing. Like, they ain't going to never truly be able to understand that. I pose this question though. You know how we talk about interracial, uh, interracial kids and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, if if one of the 
one of those kids, one of that, one of those kids' parents are a black person. They're deemed like a black, a black, right? Mm -hmm. So is it really like erasing our culture like that? If we our, mm. from the, from what I gather, it come from the mother. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? So if your mother's black, then you you're considered a black. Yeah, person. exactly. Like coming from the womb of a of a black, you might have the black. Uh, Jeans. Yeah, jeans and everything, but like I think like the I think it was like the, don't don't kill me out there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I think the Muslims might have like some mother Muslim brothers said something along that line or whatever. Now I ain't did no research into it, like I don't know the the whatever word you might use for it. But yo, what's up, FMF mob? What's good, yo? Hey, I want to thank y'all for all the subscribers that we got. We clicked over 100 subscribers, but we looking, man, we need more support. So y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure you like the uh, videos and keep showing us support. Y'all take care. To me, it kind of makes sense because you came from the womb of a black woman. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got to challenge you on that. Yeah, go ahead. I got to challenge you on that. Mm -hmm. Life energy, life energy comes from men. Mm -hmm. The living organism, the being, the zygote, comes from our seed. But it's built in the woman. It's, it's built, built in the in woman. The womb. Yeah, I, yeah, I respect that. Like, the life force, okay. But you don't know if it's a male or female, it's gonna be black or whatever, all of that DNA is constructed and molded in the womb, it's in the woman. It's dependent on the woman. And the black woman is the only woman on this earth that inhabits all characteristics, all traits. True. I like that from other people. No, because the black has the lightest shade. We also have the darkest shade. We have the, you know, the blonde and the black. We have blue, know, eyes. blue eyes, slant eyes. We have the black woman, the only one that possess all of that. True, okay. Um, <laughs> no, 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 um, no. I believe in what she, what she says, but it, it, um, but for the guys that that do it outside of our race because you hate yourself, that's exactly. when I have a problem. It's I think exactly. it should be a personal problem. Like you, not a personal way that you want to just you just like her or you just like him. Right. That's cool. But if you go into the other side because I can't stand I'm, that I'm white, I can't stand that I'm black, I can't stand that I'm Asian or whatever. Then that's when it's a problem. You gotta go. You gotta do something about that. That's when I don't agree with it. You supposed to go there for good reasons. If you like somebody, I ain't gonna be mad. It's a black dude. I mean, I can't stop you anyway. What's the line? Whatever you fuck, whatever you fuck, don't make me come. So if you like her, I mean, I can't do nothing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I always, I always got quotes everywhere. But it's like, hey, between me, who? Like, hey, it's true, but I can't get mad. My homeboy couldn't be. I like her, man. You like her, man. I'm gonna stop talking to you because you exactly. like her. I ain't nothing exactly. I can do about it, bro. Y'all rock. Y'all right. y'all y'all do y'all thing. So I mean, mm, that's but what I understand what y'all saying. I think. Yeah. Part is expanding but the black community. It's natural though. I think it's natural for you to just naturally, if you're white or black, you naturally want to go with your kind. And it's yeah. not a bad thing. It's, it's, it, not. it's not bad. It's, just and, it comes, and I, it's natural. And I've spoken to other races about this and they all agree. Like, yeah. white people should be with white people. You know, Asians are definitely tight knit with Asians. They don't play. And, you know, Jews, all of that. Like, you should want to be able to be built with your people. Right. We're the main ones that go outside of our race. We taught, it was shown that, you know, it's green, the grass is green on the other side. So let's continue what sister got to say. Let's go. Brother, Brother Kanye, come home. Hey, oh, you wouldn't you be dealing with that, you had a black woman. Oh, oh, man. If a woman says to you, that. well, I was alone, and he came to me at a very vulnerable point in my life, whether he's Hispanic or, um, um, from the Middle East or he's Caucasian. white and mm -hmm. Caucasian doesn't matter and she just says he came to me at a very vulnerable point in my life Shahrazad and he's well, good to me and well, he takes it's, care it's of me. Well it's not necessary for people to confess to me. I tell people all the time I'm not taking a poll. This book is about self-examination and personal development and if after reading this book she thinks that she is still in the right place, then I don't have any control over that. I'm not out here as a judge. As I said, I haven't set myself up to say I'm the perfect black woman. Everyone should be about me. I have the same problems that all the rest of y'all got. I'm just trying to work with it. And uh, this book is so brutally honest 
we've never had anybody just talk, just straight talk to us about our personal problems, what happens inside the black home after the door is closed. And we have had a tendency to think that it's some kind of secret, that nobody recognizes, that we don't get along. And uh, we tend to think that somebody is going to pick this book up from some other nationality and think that all black women are like other women that I describe in this book. That's totally impossible because the things that I describe are visible and they're audible. You can see them or you can hear them. So nobody's going to mistakenly think you do these things if they don't see them or hear them coming out of your mouth or out of your actions. You know, so there's no danger of people thinking that all of us do this. Sheherazade, there are a lot of women out there who think you don't like us, you don't like black women. Oh yes I do, I love black women. I'm a black woman myself and I got five daughters and four sisters so that would, you know, be ridiculous of anybody to assume that as I said, we have just never had anybody challenge us on our behavior. We've never had anybody to say, well let's look. Yeah, yeah. that C word. Yeah, which one? Challenge. Hey, there it go. That's, that's it right there. It, it amazes me that this was a, she was talking about this 30 years ago and it seems like today we're having the same problem. Like you challenge a woman on her thinking, it's like you instantly get attacked black woman. Black yeah, woman. Yeah, it's just you instantly, it's you like, instantly, who like, are you talking to? You wrong, bro. If you're wrong, if you're, you're wrong, wrong. You're, you're wrong. wrong. Dang. Y'all yeah, don't want to take accountability for y'all stuff, man. Yeah. Like I said, they treat it like a, a competition. Yeah. Like, like we just turn up the score on them or something. Right. Like, it's not like that, man. Yeah, we, we're, we're trying to guide y'all. That's why we don't need no nice guys out here. Because when you say something, you just got to stand on it. Stand I've on been it. challenged by some of the strongest black women, independent and all. Mm -hmm. And they can challenge me all you want. But if it's the truth, the truth hurts for a reason. Right. And that's because you're trying to make it easy with the lie. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I think so. it's just we in a sensitive era right now. I think we just we just coming up on a time where everybody got to be right about whatever they feel or think or believe or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's it's the like, bullshit, though. It's, 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 we got to get the accountability back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and also, too, I think when it comes to challenging people, a lot of people, I'll say a, a lot of people, they look at who is the person challenging them. You know what I'm saying? So they be like, yo, how you going to talk to me about something and you ain't got your stuff together? And I think that's the issue we starting to have in this community mm -hmm. that... We both got our issues that we got to work on. So if us as a black man, if we try to talk to a woman, they be like, but you don't do this and you don't do that. That don't, that still don't negate the fact that you wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it still don't negate the fact that you wrong or vice versa. If it's with us and they, they trying to get us together. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you don't do this. No, just accept the fact we might be wrong on something and we got to work on this to become better as ourselves as people. And then as a community, that we can move forward. We gotta stop just so we we so one finger pointing what is it, one finger pointing back, two pointing back at yeah. you. We wanna, gotta stop that. What I wanna add on to that. Yeah, what I wanna add to that is when you challenge somebody, I was taught this by my coach. Stop shaming others. Stop shaming others. Don't challenge somebody in a, in a sense that you putting them down. Right, it's like you know, like Ooh. you need a correct. This is like correctional, you know, and it's because I want to see you do better. Versus, you ain't shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, don't tell me, like you said, don't tell me what it is because you ain't good. And now, and now, it's challenge, challenge. Now we just button heads. Versus, oh, I can actually take take that, and that's where the communication comes into play. But what you got, G? Because mm -hmm. um, I got something to say. Yeah, because I, uh, I think uh -huh. he's wrong on that. I don't think it's a new thing. I think it's always been there. And nobody's just saying say nothing. It's been a, this problem was going on for a long time. 91, probably before that, because she wouldn't have been this big unless it's, she saw it even growing up. Mm. So it's been, this has been like this for a yeah. long time. Yeah. A long time. So it's nothing new. It's just that it's on camera now that it's being a highlight on it and men are actually saying something. And mm -hmm. he, all he needs is a few niggas with, with ball sacks to say something, then other men will grow their balls too. So now it's just a domino effect of the men being real. Oh, oh, balls man. dropping. Balls you know what I'm dropping. And I've been Stand like, man, if you follow me on, even on, uh, and it, I've been like this for years. I just yeah. didn't have a platform to even talk about. He's been on me a while. I even, shoot, if you even Facebook friend, I've been saying this up since 16, <laughs> so I was 16, 17, 
been talking about this stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And and now being able to have a voice to really say how I really feel, and people take it some type of way, but I wanna see us win. Right. We can't have we can't win unless we have families. And until both sides get it together, man, we ain't gonna never I mean, win. We're that. That's we we ain't gonna win. We're gonna keep on losing, man. I, I think we touched on it in part one when we got kinda got into a heated discussion between Trey and G. Yeah. We don't know <laughs> okay. we we don't know the effects of what slavery really has we're still unraveling for those from mm-hmm. those effects, right? And and secondly, I, I just would like to if I give a little bit of advice, like the type of person I am when I'm challenging someone, uh-huh. I'm not making statements. I'm asking intelligent questions. And my experience with women is like you ask a question and they don't answer the question directly. <laughs> so, it's I, so it is so <clears throat> annoying. Yeah, it's it's annoying. It's annoying. <laughs> it's yo, it. you can let <laughs> and I, I, I let them be. Me I let them be, but I let them know like yo, that doesn't answer my question. But okay, mm-hmm. they just switch it all. You guys, yeah. woman. So why would you break up? See, the, yesterday I had first I got my nails done and then I thought I said, listen, no, just give me a straight answer. Why did you? See the things that he used to do. No, bro. Answer the question. They, uh, bro, that show pisses me off every time. <laughs> you realize, it, but that could be with anybody. Any yeah. person that tries to go off a yes or no question or try to try to answer, try go off the question a little bit and not give you a direct answer, they, they lying, man. It's some, Look, some deceiving. That's how I said it. It's like if you can't explain it, make it simple enough, then you don't know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, and I do want to say too. Um, it was a comment we had on, I think, one of the uh, black culture trash one. Oh, yeah. And that's what made me think about this uh, in regards to what you was talking about when communicating uh, like a challenge or whatever like that. Yeah. The guy in the comment section, shout out to whoever this guy was, because it, it resonated with me. He said, like you talked about, we don't know the effects that we might be dealing with from past traumas that's been passed down. Mm-hmm. Instead of bashing, we should be trying to uplift. You know what I'm saying? We should be trying to uplift <laughs> every day. Look, 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 here you go. Oh, here you go, be trying to uplift. Here we that's, go. That's wow. going to take. No. That's, that's going to take. So, so go ahead. Once again, we have to, get, we have to do the same. All right, go, go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk. It says still, prior to 1960, we were married at an 80%. Rape, right? That means mm. women knew how to be wild. They knew how to shut up. They knew how to be cooperative. Now, co- that's it, right? Yeah, cooperative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's part of the it up. <laughs> obviously, yeah. obviously we, we know what to do. It's already there. We've been doing it. Through, and that was before 1960. That was when we was getting attacked by dogs, water hoses, getting hung. Through black men getting beat, through Jim Crow, through we. Everybody's getting hung and KKK and all that. We were still together 80%. All I of a think, sudden, we were the freest. Now we can't be together oh, cause because of traumas from slavery. Huh? Come on, bro. bro. No, no, that's the reason why. Because we on, went bro. through all that. But now, they, we, now we can't be together because of think traumas. About, but think about this, though. Think about this, though. I'm saying, you are, yes, is that, is that right? Come on. Would you, would you talk about the previous traumas before? Like, yeah, you said trauma. That's why we can't be together no, right bro. now. Was, no, that's not what I said. Oh, okay, that's not what I said. Oh, wait, what traumas? That's, I said that's some of the stuff we don't know the effects. That stuff has had on us. I didn't say that. What that's I'm still saying, the same thing. What, that's not the same thing. Which in fact, you said that I said that's why we can't come together now. That's not what I'm saying. I said I don't know the effects that stuff might have had okay. that's been passed down. To go to your point about like the the, the 50s and 60s mm-hmm. and you know going through everything. Do you think you really gonna be trying to? Uh, you think you really gonna be trying to like? Bash each other and oh, really man. attack each other when well, you got you're going through enemy. all of that stuff. Right right me, man. Coming you, at each other, like like challenging each other the way we uh like like we the do way now. we're doing now. We ain't have as much freedom. We ain't have much of an option. We only had us. Everybody else was against us openly, and there was a common enemy. Most people come together when there's a common enemy. Now we it's don't still a common enemy, but they but, don't view uh, it. They don't view it that way though. Yeah, we're more free now. For a lot of shit, but they um, don't view it that way. So that's still excuse. What? So that's an excuse why they can't be with us. I'm not trying to give excuses. I'm giving my thought process. I can't give no excuse. I'm telling you, for your rebuttal, my rebuttal to your rebuttal is during that time they had other stuff to worry about. We we got social media now. We what? got all this stuff at our access and right at our fingertips. What we I'm not worried about say, that stuff. What now. I'm going to say is that role is not. That role is not for everybody. Every man is not to be what we what we started at. Where every man is not to be uplifting 
and patient with somebody else who just wants to keep challenging. Everybody's not gonna stick through with somebody who's hurting, still dealing with trauma, still healing, who's projecting on the next person. It what takes trauma? any trauma. For anybody to have this type of mentality, for anybody to be challenging each other challenging each other, for there to be any type of negative communication with one another, just because I said you need to take accountability for your shit. Well, you need to take accountability for your shit. That means that you can't take accountability for yourself. That means you still are repressing. You're not looking inward. You're afraid to be with yourself at that point. So if we're going to that era, if we're going to that area, it's not on every person. That's why you're so against it. Like you hate that shit. I'm tired of that shit. I don't have no patience for it. That's cool. You, I could be uplifted. I could at least leave you with a positive message or something like that. That's cool. You, I'm gonna ask you a question and make sure that you, did you ask the question? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Everybody got different roles. You know, like with me, you can't have community without communication. That came from years of continuously trying to communicate with my people. That came from, I have the utmost, I think I have the most patience out of the group. I have the utmost patience and continuously, <laughs> continuously. Yeah, you ain't got no patience with no BS. Exactly. It's, 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 no. It's like continuously. I can't handhold everybody. And exactly. We live in a and, handhold and, community and, though. And that's what I'm saying. Like, so everybody has a different role when it comes to being able to like highlight and progress the culture forward. What does it have to do with us not being married at an 80% rate anymore? Because if we can't talk to one another, G, if we cannot who, talk who, no, to no, one no, another. No, no, who can't talk to somebody? We. No, I don't think it's we. The majority. No. The majority, the majority. Yeah. Black woman, black man, we. Yeah. No, that's we, that, that's we, the community. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. That's the. If we cannot talk, if no, <laughs> no, 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 listen, let's get it. If, one person, if one person cannot communicate with another, then there's no communication. It takes two. Who's the problem? It doesn't matter. Oh, it does. Be, oh, it, it means it doesn't matter. It, it, what I'm saying is, a, is that's, everybody that's the has problem. The just... I think we agree to disagree and we got to get it moving. No, we can't agree. That's why we'll continue the problem. All right, so the problem, the problem, we, we, this be the last one. No, the problem is the woman, all right? Both of so, us is the problem. The majority is the woman. That's what I'm saying. The majority. I, I go off majority. I don't go as Listen, how do you dictate majority, it, though? By the numbers. What's the, what numbers are you going by, though? Who's divorcing? Who's having kids out of wedlock? All that. That's, that's, that's not creating black families. Bro, we told you, bro. Who put the kid in facts, the woman? <laughs> Who let him in it? So, so, but you saying this all, you saying majority yes. is the woman. We were this before, yes, sex, who controls sex is women. You said yes, put it inside me. That's her fault. But 100%. a man can put the jimmy on. Like, you still going, you're agreed. still going. Agreed. Agreed. You're still going, she can see everything, put it on. She is, a, women are 100%. And, and then sex. she get that she got no options to continue to right with it in charge and all of that. access. She's not in charge of that man let off. <laughs> and the man don't gotta that's go the, up that, in it just because she didn't say yes. She that's the risk she takes. That's the risk she takes. That's the risk the guy takes. But take. anything that you have a card or anything like that, it's the risk you take. If you don't pay the card, no, the, they are gonna take the card, right? That's the risk you took. So the risk she took was letting him inside. Anything that happens other than that, that's her. Just because she little, man, we, then, yeah. but just and because she little man, oh, he gosh. gotta go in, right? Duh. We're yes. Talk about accountability. Accountability so, is so what, you, what you mean? So duh. that means that she is the eighty percent is out of wedlock. So I said she on baby little mothers, man. Right? Did he go in though? Yeah. Who? So who went in then? The dude. All right. So just because he could go in, don't mean you gotta go in. It's your choice to go in. Exactly. Duh, that's you what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> you prove it. I didn't turn stuff down before if I don't want it. You prove it. That's the whole point. What point? It, it what, takes how do you to make a baby? I'm not getting this. Just, bro, I'm not getting it either. I can't blame a woman for having a child when the man had to impregnate her, especially when y'all just you let her in the, let him in the first place. He I has the he has the the life seed, the life force, right? Mm -hmm. If he got it. He let it off. They, they, they he, make it male. What is it? Yeah, you know, they make it male. Uh, they contraception. Not just contraception. Birth control. Male birth control now. Should men take male birth control? No. I can't they try and kill our seed. They try and kill <laughs> if I can't stop them, I'll take it. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> but when it comes to in abortions, we don't have no control in no abortions. They, they, they are got the 100%. control of 100%. They're the reason. 100%. 
But no, you, you wouldn't be here unless it was for your mom. Not your dad's decision. It was your mom's decision. Uh, yes. A hundred percent. So, but what I'm saying is the whole start of that whole process. Women. It's the woman's fault. Start with the guy. It's the, the woman's fault. The guy's supposed to approach the woman. Then we'll be all good. But when it's still at 80% of baby mamas, right. then then that's the problem. 80%. I'm not stats. going to 20%. I'm on the 80. I'm, I'm on not, the 80. I'm, I'm not a stats person. Stats, stats are not facts, bro. Stats are facts. Well, let's look at what we do. We know what he does. And he's wrong in a lot of what he does. But his wrongness, his guilt, does not ensure our innocence. We have a share in the problems that we have in the black community. And just because we are dressed up and have a job does not mean that we don't practice some aberrant behaviors that end up infecting our homes and breaking up our relationships with our men and helping to hold him down. That's all I'm saying. So everyone can look at themselves. Every man can look at his own woman. You know, this book has brought a lot of people together. Uh, this book has reunited a lot of couples who now understand what happened in their relationship. Uh, it's required reading in 15 historically black colleges and 10 white colleges. Everyone must study what slavery did to the black woman. We have never looked at it as an independent study. May I ask you, on what do you base your information? All right, so we gonna end on like that, but do anybody got like any like final takeaways either about like that last part she just said or? We'll talking to him for another 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta go. I mean, I think she kind of, I think she kind of touched on what y'all were just going back and forth about previously. Is uh, about whose fault it is. She was just saying basically it's, it's two sides. Like I, I, I think that's what I like about her, she even. her viewpoint. That's she what I'm saying. She's holding uh, a woman accountable, and we talked about this in part one. She's bringing it back to us. Accountability. So, man. I, I mean, I, I get with you. I understand where Jesus comes from. Yeah. I, I, I understand. understand. I understand. Good, but good faith. I think making sure that's a hundred percent. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent. We yeah. gotta attack the majority and stop one point. If we start that, stop that one portion, bro. We would be unstoppable. If we, we would control that, um, then we would have more families, more husbands and wives, and then having kids instead of just being a whole bunch of baby mamas. We would be better as a community. That's so, how I feel. I believe I, we need kids to have their mom and dad in the house to mm -hmm. have a better community. Is there any way to stop that portion of so many baby mothers out here? I know it's just there's good women out here that even have kids and um, they don't have the dad. And they did a wonderful job, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There's always always, there was always yeah. some. There's always some out there doing. If you can't even get to the dude or somebody have like that out of control and you still do good, man, you're doing wonderful in my book. But we gotta attack the portion that are doing bad. And most of the time I see some of my, my brothers out there, they act out and don't do right because they don't have their dad in their house. And it's like another single family. It's like, bruh, I know he could have been a different type of dude if he would have had his dad there to teach him some things and be there. And that's a selfish point where we wanna just say that we can have family just have and don't have the dad and the mom in the house. I think this is bad for our community. It's mm -hmm. bad. It's horrible. You can't be a fully developed person all the time if you don't have both in the house. If you're able to do it, then I'm always for it. Now, I think we should stop that. Plus, it's a product of the same way me and how me and him were brought up. And we know how that, that, that feels. And it's whack. And I don't like to see other men out here going through the same exact thing. So no it sex sucks. before marriage. No sex before marriage. That would be a perfect world. That would be wonderful. If y'all can, can do that, do that. In a perfect world, yeah, that would be if wonderful. You can do that. In a perfect world, if we can go back to them days, Damn. I wouldn't be wonderful. See, that's Damn a whole other topic, y'all. I ain't even. <laughs> we Damn would, we would like that if we were wonderful. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't even <laughs> front. Like, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I would probably, I don't, I don't know if I would have lost my virginity. I would, because it's something about the, when you think about yourself as a kid, your imagination, your focus, and all of this type of stuff. When you a kid before sex and then after sex will be on your mind a lot of times. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why when you have sex, you lose your innocence. You know what I'm saying? It's a you become a different person hey, after the act. That needs to be deep. <laughs> I don't you know lose. how I felt, but I feel like hey, you lose your innocence because you because it's a different because it's a difference you between know. wondering how something is and knowing how something is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once you get up in there and you feel it, you're like, oh, That's shit. Like a long time wondering. It's it was different. Huh? It was a long time wondering, it was worth it, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could agree, but I want sex. Yeah. In a perfect world, we all would, would wait and it would be 
And know, if you can, do it. it. Yeah. I was I would suggest it, yo, if you can, do it. Like, don't worry about, yeah. you focus on yourself until you find the one person you want to build with, and then y'all build together. Mm-hmm. That's how it should be. Like you said, yeah. it should be that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so I would point. promote but that. It could be, per, it could be, um, but I think it could be trolled by the women. Since that they the gatekeepers of sex, if you if if imagine if all the women right now that are dating say I'm not gonna have a kid or have continuous sex with you until you marry me, imagine how many family how many imagine oh, how many families the women together came collectively what? and they actually did that we would be in oh, a, it'd be a ton of marriages <laughs> it would be a ton of marriages man it would be back to the old days see that's um we, see that's what happens when you own a building. <laughs> I mean, when FMF bought this building, we, this is, uh, you know, the front office. Uh, we, they, they, we had to let them know to let us know, to let the other people know that that's... What? Buying a building? No, about sex. About sex. Like, sex yeah, yeah, yeah. We might, we it's might behind the scenes right here, man. Yeah, y'all getting the wrong. We might got this. So, the, um, I, I would agree, but I would agree to not having sex at all because once you have sex, mm-hmm. If I go, it's like this is how I used to base my relationships. It's like we're going to it, like we can build, we can be cool. I can go months without having sex with the person that I'm building with. Mm-hmm. But once we have sex, don't act like you're gonna take that off the table. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's already established. Yeah. What do you, you know think the community would be? Yeah, we did that way. It started right now. All women came together in a feminist whole movement. One of the movements is to be like everybody. It's gonna get We're gonna have no sex until you make him marry you, and then y'all start having sex and having kids. What do you think will happen in the community? Our, our first people don't like change, especially yeah. us guys are not gonna be with that. And, and <laughs> like, right a lot of guys will go to another race. I know, but other yeah. cultures, <laughs> doing, other <laughs> cultures are the, already doing it. But right, the way the world is now, the women be like, damn, that woman did. You know, what it, yeah, they yeah. savage right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it does, but we got in here. Sex is so. Highly popular, like everything, everything is sexualized. You know, you washing your car, sex. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning the house, sex. Anything, yeah. everything is sex. The number one website is, um, I ain't gonna say the name, but y'all know what it is. It's yeah. a porn site. It's the number one um, search in the world <laughs> mm-hmm. is a porn site. <laughs> That's cool. Crazy. <laughs> 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 touching yourself. Stop touching yourself. Stop touching yourself. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Yeah. Hey, look. Stop it, man. Hey, look, on that note, y'all, F-X. we're gonna go ahead and wrap up, right. man. Thank y'all, y'all for the, the support. Put the comments down in the bottom, man. (laughs) Like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Y'all take care. Peace. Yep.